This is Snow White. Once upon a time in a distant kingdom long, long ago, there lived an evil queen who owned an enchanted mirror, and every day she would ask it the same question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the smartest of them all? And every day the mirror would say, You and my queen are the smartest of them all. That is, until one day there was a different response. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the smartest of them all? You are very smart, it is true. But Snow White is better at math than you. The queen was green with envy at hearing of a more skilled mathematician in the land, and immediately ordered, Lock this Snow White in a dungeon with a thousand apples, and only one sweet apple that can save her. All of the apples to the left of the magical wand were normal sweet apples. All of the apples to the right of the magical wand were bitter poisonous apples. Snow White could eat no more than two of the poisonous apples before falling into an endless sleep that she could only be saved from by a prince. Though, unluckily for her, the land was on a shortage of Prince Charming's. If she can tell me the least amount of apples she'd have to try to guarantee she found the magical one, maybe I'll set her free. What am I going to do? The mirror wasn't wrong though when it said that Snow White was the better mathematician and she immediately began to work. What if I start by imagining that I could only eat one apple, not two? What a good idea! If that were the case, I would have no choice but to start from the left and taste every single apple until I reached a poisonous one. Then I would know that the magical one was the one to the left of that. At most, this might require tasting 1,000 apples. Luckily, this isn't the case, as we can eat two poisonous apples, not just one. With my first try, I could do intervals, in this example of 13 apples, testing every four apples. After reaching a poisonous apple, I could then use my second chance to test all of the apples within that interval to determine which apple between the normal one and the poisonous one was the right apple. Following the logic from the first section, we know that the one to the left of the first poisonous apple is the magical one. So in this example of 13 apples, using intervals of 4 with 3 apples in between each one we try at first, at most we'd have to eat 6 apples. But can we do even better? Who said the intervals had to be the same size? If I wanted to reduce the amount of apples I needed to eat to find the magical one, it'd be best to reduce the interval size as we move right. We can look at this with a smaller example of 10. With 10, we'd only need to try 4 apples. More specifically, each interval should be one less than the interval before it. This ensures that the most amount of tries it takes to find the apple in any interval is the same, because every time I go to another interval, I'm eating another apple, so I need to reduce the amount of apples I eat in that interval by 1. This gets that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, so on so, so forth, up to n, must be greater than or equal to 1,000. The sum of the numbers up to n can be found by doing n times n plus 1 over 2. This is because there are n numbers, and n plus 1 over 2 is the average of all those numbers. Since we want to get as close to 1,000 as possible, we can write it as n times n plus 1 over 2 equals 1,000 to make it easier. Multiplying both sides by 2 gets us to n times n plus 1 equals 2,000, and distributing gets n squared plus n equals 2,000. This means that n squared should be about 2,000. 45 squared is the first perfect square over 2,000 at 2025. If we test 44, which is one less, we get 1980. Because 1980 is less than 2,000, this doesn't work. So we can test 45. This gets 2070. 2070 is greater than 2,000, so it works. That means that the answer is 45. I found the magic apple. Now at most, I only have to try 45 apples. No! I admit you are truly the better mathematician. And they lived happily ever after with the queen being a little less prideful of her knowledge and Snow White being a little less fond of apples. <laughs>